Hola familia, bienvenidos a Costa Rica y este Out of Town Zone. Today is our second full day here and we're getting ready to board our catamaran. thing about this house is that driveway you see we need a 4x4 to get us up and down okay dark and spooky shadows from the up light not the best lighting the Sun is is basically just dropped behind the horizon and I just wanted to take a second to show you. Casa Sole Luna is the name of the place that we're staying. It's an Airbnb that we rented. For a number of reasons, we decided that we were going to splurge and have a private chef. So behind me right now, we have a chef who is cooking us an amazing meal. This is the back of this house. The kitchen, you can see everybody's drooling over the food. Tito is the man, by the way. He is our chef and he is just killing it. The food has been absolutely amazing. But so far, this trip has been absolutely incredible. Costa Rica is one of the most beautiful places I've been and the people are just incredible. We spent the day on a catamaran today. Um, then we went on this crazy adventure hike. The property manager slash concierge, uh, his name is Rudy, he took us on a wild walk uh, from where we are right now down the cliff that leads out to the ocean, which is out there and down and then across and around. Uh, let me show you. It's the, uh, it's the rainforest combine. of July and we are going to be ziplining through the rainforest. I'll talk to you tomorrow and show you. For now, we eat dinner. Good morning. It's the 4th of July and we're still here in Costa Rica. We're scheduled to go ziplining today. So let me attach you double so you can put your hand full yep. okay. Your name, friend? Calder. Calder, where are you from, Calder? Kansas City. There you go, Calder. Now, the way, my friend, just pull hard and then you can go up. Look at this. This is crazy. Look how high. How am I supposed to get it past?
or your friend. Stay backwards right now. Cross your ankles. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. You have to bend your knees all the time. What day is it? We're, we're, Today it's, is Saturday. It's Saturday. about how many days have we been in Costa Rica now? Uh, Six. Monday. I don't know. I live here. Monday. Now. Five. Tuesday. Five. Wednesday, Thursday. All right. So, Saturday, what do you? Five. So, talk about what? Like, what's the? What's your favorite thing we've done so far? Zip lining. Zip lining. What did you all think of the zipline? The zipline was amazing. I also went ziplining when we were in Mexico, and the, so we did better, the Explore yeah. Fuego. But this is just really different. It's like I, I was talking to my dad about this. Actually, it's just like more raw feeling. Like you feel like you're actually zip lining and less at like an amusement park. Just be careful when you're going inverted. <laughs> yeah. If you have a weak stomach, don't go upside down. Sophia got a little green. It's also super humid. You're in yeah. a rainforest and it's hot, it's humid, it's it's no intense. No I would say that if you're planning on coming to Costa Rica and be you prepared. are not a thrill seeker, do not do the zip lining. Zip if you, lining was um, amazing. If you also feel like you're gonna be unable or to like walk up and hike to get to the zip line, you shouldn't do the zip line. Yeah, there's a lot more hiking and moving around than, than it looks. It's not just zipping down a line. Which I think is what took the toll. Like, Sophia felt sick, but I think having to hike up in the heat and the humidity made it 10 times worse for her. Absolutely, I think that's probably what yeah. it was. And then even, like, I, I'm scared of heights, and it was still very fun. But she doesn't have the GoPro help you <laughs> too. Yeah, all the action cam footage comes from Calder. He, he wore the thing. Yeah, and I have to say, I do not like walking across rickety rope bridges. <laughs> there are quite a few of those. I definitely was conquering my fears in those. Those were not my favorite part, but it was totally worth it to do the zip lines. The zip well, lining was long zip amazing. Line. The long zip line was amazing. It's like I was always checking to make sure I was almost there. I was like, almost there? I know, there was a moment where I was like, please don't let me like, not make it. <laughs> not make it. <laughs> and I'd have to pull yourself. But the fast zip line was probably my favorite, which was the last one. Burning but this just to let you towel. know, there's 10 zip lines, and if you're, I don't know, my age, and maybe, maybe the- Under 100 pounds. Under 100 pounds, you have to go with a guide on, num on the- <laughs> on number seven, eight, and 10 of the zip lines because you don't weigh enough to get fast enough far down. enough, fast enough. Yep. So the number two thing you think was the park, so yeah. like, yeah. all right, so like, think. I don't know, this pool in this view is pretty amazing. Okay, hold yeah. on, Let, let's just see if we can do I this here. Say, I think this pool, if you you want, this view, because it is. I mean, uh, in fairness, this uh, house is pretty spectacular. It is winter here, so imagine yeah. summer. <laughs> yeah, we're in there. We're in the Costa Rican winter. It's we're hot. talking like 80% humidity every day. Oh, You're talking okay. 90s every single day. Doing yeah, my ass so here's is the thing, though. I do feel like it's worth getting a cool location. The awesome yeah. thing about our location is that we're driving distance to the beach, but you can see the ocean. We have an awesome pool. And we, we have all the Surrounded benefits of the, of the rainforest. So we have like awesome monkey sightings, cool birds, we, awesome butterflies. So to me, and we recently that, like, saw that's one awesome. Of the, we recently saw one of the raccoons. And a raccoon came Oh up. yeah, we were, playing, we were playing a game and a raccoon came up to stalk us. Hold on, spin. So the other thing is we've seen all three species of monkeys in the trees right around the place. So like up there, over there, over there. So we, we've been visited by the Catablancas, we've seen the howler monkeys and the monotitis, the squirrel monkeys. They've all come by and visited us just where we are right now. I, I would also say if you've been to the Caribbean before, this is not the Caribbean. You don't need cute clothes. You need awesome shoes that you can hike in when it is super hot. And you need a of lot of a lot of clothes that just wick the sweat away. My it is real hot. Also, my biggest mistake not having technical clothing. Yeah, mine technical as well. Clothing. We just had lunch at an amazing place called uh, Cafe Agua Azul or Cafe Blue Water, just up the road. And the other place that we have to make sure that we hit while we're here is Cafe Milagro because we're big coffee drinkers and Costa Rican coffee is um, perfecto. 
and there is a uh, Cafe Milagro it's just around the corner here, so we're gonna make sure we stop there to get uh, coffee while we're here, but also some coffee to go back, because that Costa Rican stuff is amazing. say when you're leaving paradise <laughs> I don't even oh wait hold on the focus lost oh no it just pulled to you you stole my <laughs> stole my focus it's sad it's muy triste it is sad this has been this has been a different kind of a trip huh but it, it really has been a special trip here comes here comes Karen um, we have to find a different spot with more light we have to back up a little bit I think yeah but it's it's like you we came here and it's finally like oh yeah i could live in this place you know and it's the first vacation i've taken maybe it's because it's not in a resort and i guess besides rome <laughs> where i feel like i could live here your face here karen your face here chair there <laughs> okay we can move hold on let's move Ooh. whoa okay i don't know i'm sort of like taken aback by the beauty of this place this place is amazing amazing um, and all the nature. She's all her knees are. <laughs> her knees are crickety cracking. Um, the nature is amazing. I also think the people are amazing here. That's the thing that's kind of Super crazy. chill. The people make it. Definitely. They make it very easy. They have a pride in the way that they treat people. Mm -hmm. Like the, 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 the culture. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's, it, it's a lot. There's a lot that's hard to put into words because we didn't do an astronomical amount of things. We did a lot though, and it still doesn't feel like we had enough time. So, this is the Crocodile River. This is the Crocodile Bridge. We're crossing this bridge to see these crocs. All real? Yeah. The, 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 the ones that are hanging out here have been kicked out of the primary area by the alphas.